hello everyone in this video we'll see how to um, run ios shortcut on an yearly basis for example um, sending an automated greeting message to a person on a year yearly basis or a couple of people on yearly basis so by default um, we don't have an op option to run the command uh, on yearly basis as you can see over here there is daily option there is weekly option and there is monthly option but there is no year yearly option so i'll uh, show a workaround um, in order to run a ios shortcut command on a yearly basis um, that's it uh, like what i mentioned earlier sending an automated whatsapp message uh, in order to do that you have to select daily and then you can select the time of the day and then you can click on next and you can click on add action so here you can see uh, whatsapp send message is there so you can this is showing in the suggestions so you can select that by default what people tend to do is um, they search for whatsapp over here and once you select whatsapp there is send message via whatsapp this doesn't work properly so i wouldn't recommend doing this one so you can just click on add action uh, you can click on add action and then in in the suggestions you can select a random person so once you select the person you can uh, just select the person again over here and then type whoever you want to send the message so i'll just type many more happy returns of the day okay so uh, this command will be running daily so that this is something which we don't want so in order to do that we'll uh, put a condition so there's something called if condition you can see under scripting there's if i'll select i'll uh, delete otherwise and then i will drag this and i will put inside the if condition so i need to send this message only on his birthday date so that is um i have to select the current date in input and then in current date like you can see the date format and time format time format i'll select none and date format will be custom and i'll put it as dd hyphen m m okay and you have to select is current date is so that means his we have to put his birth birthday over here so i'll put 3107 so this command will run uh, this command will run daily i mean this shortcut will run daily but only on 31st of july uh it will send the message to him uh i'll click on next i'll click on done so ask before running i'll just disable don't ask and notify run also i'll disable so at 8 in the morning every day my ios shortcut will run but it will send whatsapp message only on um, uh it will send the whatsapp message only on 31st of uh, july so uh, i'll just show you if i click on uh, run you can see what is happening it's not going inside the if loop it's not going inside the message on 31st of uh, july it will go inside the message uh, sorry on 31st of july it will send a message i'll do it again you can see carefully i'll do it again so it's not entering the loop so to make it simpler uh, to uh, to show you how this command works i'll uh, set it to today's date which is um today's date is um today's date is 13th of um march 
I guess it's 13th of March. Uh, 13th of March. I'll click on uh, run. If I click on run, you can see the green hovers over the entire uh, if loop inside the message also. You can see it. See, the command is executing. So, and it will send the WhatsApp message to him. So, this is how you send automated WhatsApp message on early basis. So, many might think that um, like if we want to send uh, aut uh, automated WhatsApp message to a couple of people on their birthdays, which appears to be on different dates. So, you don't have to create multiple shortcuts. You can create one shortcut and you can create multiple if statements. I'll show you. Here I can put current date. I'll uh, set the same. Time format I'll disable. And date format I'll just put it as DDMM. Yeah, no. Date and month. Condition is and I'll put uh, a different date and I can select another person I'll put many more happy returns of the day So you can see that uh, there I have added two different persons and it will send custom WhatsApp message on different dates. For uh, uh, the first person it will send on 13th of March and for the second person it will send on 9th of March. Similarly you can create multiple if statements and add uh, multiple people to it. So um, in order to, um, since you are adding multiple people like in order to keep track of who you are adding so uh, optionally I add a note um, not note ah, sorry I add a text so here I just add their names um, and so like this will keep uh, track of like who all I have added in the loop so that I, did, I will know that I have not missed them. So this is how you do it. So hope it was useful. If there's anything, write in the comments. Thanks for watching.